Hi friends, it's Seals here from Seals Design and today I want to share with you a very exciting news that I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram you already know that we bought a house and it's been like a dream for a long time for us and I'm so happy. We got the key last week and we started moving in. Um, this house is it's like a mix of potential to make over and a lot of and living in ready, you know, like moving ready. So that's what we're looking for. And today I want to share our first project in this house. So one of the reasons we bought this house was the concrete floors. We always want a house that's concrete floor, but we live in Utah where the winter are really hard and we don't know if concrete floors it's the right option for us. And again, we never live in a house that has concrete floors, so we want kind of like have a trial. So this house was perfect for us for that reason, one of the reasons, of course. We don't know if you want to live in a house that has concrete floor for a long time or if you want to change and actually put like wooden floors or anything like this. So we decided to commit to spend a year or two with the floors that we have just to see what is living like this in the winter. Right now it's in the summer, spring, um, but kind of feel like winter right now. Okay. The problem is the concrete floors in some areas are pretty nice, but in other areas, like for example, we have like this entryway that was added, okay, was addition to the house and they have like an uneven floor. And because of that, they have like some um, different colors of concrete. And even though we we won't leave like this for a year, I don't, I, we want to kind of make look like better, but without spending so much money. But I still want to make nice. And I try to find the cheapest way possible for that. And this is why we decide to paint. Should we do it? Well, if you are planning buy some time or if you don't have kids, if you don't have toddlers, pets, this option may work for you. But if you want something to last longer, you know, that you're ready, you already know what you want, then I would, if you want something like this, I would say maybe you should try micro cement or epoxy because I think paint's not like, it's not, doesn't last long, okay? For now, the inside of the house looks great. Um, we didn't have any like major problems unless we're like um, pushing things heavy things against or things like that. So doesn't, didn't give any, any trouble. The garage though, did describe some things because I'm very rough in the garage. I, you know, I'm using a lot of sheets of plywood throughout this week and I kind of scraped some things. But one thing I need to say is, when you see the process, you're gonna see that I had a sealer, I bought a sealer, but I decided not put the sealer. <laughs> so maybe if I add the sealer, maybe to make better would last longer maybe it's an option that you can try i didn't use the sealer in the process i don't know why i changed my mind i didn't film the whole thing the whole process in the garage and this is how the time lapse is going to happen okay so stop talking and let's start okay so this is the garage floor on the first day of moving in um the flooring was kind of rough but not like terrible I wasn't planning in doing any of this video, so I washed and I cleaned everything before start the process. This is what I used. I used this porch floor patio paint and I used a primer too. So, like I said, I wasn't planning in filming this, so I already started. <laughs> you can see that I already started priming the floors and I used a 18 inches roller that was like a time saver. It was really good, really good. So this is the first coat of primer. I only use one coat of primer. I did the same thing in the house. And then I wait for six hours, four hours, and then I start painting. So this painting, it says that you should wait 24 hours before I step in or a coat. So that's what I did. I gave the first coat, which has a great coverage already. Then I wait 24 hours, they came back the next day and gave the second coat. You can use a sealer after that, but this video is very straightforward. Before I show the after, let me show a little bit of the before. And as you can see, it was really ugly. And then now you have the after. 
the after looks so clean and so nice. I'm so excited. And this is a before of inside. As you can see, just a little bit rough and some weird things on level. And now the after looks clean, looks nice. And yes, it has some things in a way like this stuff here, but looks so much better right now and clean. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. And if you found it helpful, please give a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's so important to me. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.